Hi friends. So as one of the disaster recovery measures, what uh, we try to do as as, as DPS is uh, trying try to copy SQL jobs from one server to another uh, and and keep it in a disabled state. This could be one of the standards in 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 the organizations. So what uh, what is the way that you can quickly copy your SQL jobs from one server to another? So we have SSIS transfer job task. Uh, in the SSIS, what this uh, job uh, or oh, sorry, what this task does is it allows you a, a source connection and a destination connection, and from where uh, it can copy all the jobs or a collection of list uh, list of the jobs. So what we have here is you can selectively uh, mark your jobs which needs to be copied from a source to destination, uh, and it allows also to. Uh, if the object exists it allows you to either override or, or you know uh, override the job or skip or fail the task so all these functionalities are there but where this SSIS task does not come in picture is when you know there, there are a couple of jobs which doesn't need to be copied which are maintenance jobs on a particular server A which doesn't need to be copied but you, you uh, do not know what jobs need to be copied I mean what I mean here is with time you will be adding certain jobs uh, on the SQL server uh, for, uh, for that instance so we know that there are five jobs which does not uh, need to be copied but you, we don't know that uh, how many jobs would need to be copied or, or which needs to be synced up uh, and going further on this in the expression editor we have this option which you can see is, is that of a job list so this is a list of a collection but to tell you frankly this does not uh, work in any fashion so as, is, uh, as Microsoft itself declares this as, as a bug and does not uh, overwrite a list or something uh, in, a, in a dynamic fashion so this this property is, is kind of useless so we will try to explore other options so what are, what are the other options that we can do so I say throw this SSIS away let's go back to old book days and, and let's try to understand what a SQL job is so which means let me go back to SQL Server again so if, if you see here there are I have two instances of SQL Server installed here a second instance and then there is a first instance and, and these are the set of jobs which are already there now these are some maintenance jobs and, and some uh, replication and, and log shipping jobs uh, I do not want say I just want to copy this SQL job from one instance to another what this SQL job is it is running an uh, SSIS package so if you see there is a step which runs the SSIS package and then there is a schedule on based on which this job will is, is going to run so that's all and, and then we have uh, the target server which is the current local server so we want to copy this job so what how would we do I would suggest let's try the T-SQL method so what are the jobs on this server I have the master data or, or the metadata of these jobs are stored in these tables so there is a, there is a sys job in the msdb which, which has the job details then, is, then there is a schedule uh, table which has a schedule detail for this for all the jobs and then there is a job schedule which is basically which keeps the next run date and next run time in, in order and then we have the job steps also so so these has, this has the job step for that particular job ID and then we have sys job servers so for each of this job job ID it is going to assign a server so these are the jobs I think for this we can we can skip the log this table is not required so these are the table basically uh, which needs to be copied so copied I mean the data of which needs to be copied so what I have done here is I have created a stored procedure to copy SQL job which accepts a SQL job name as a parameter and then what what uh, the requirement is I need a linked server so I need a link server from uh, the source instance to the destination so so if uh, you see I have this link server enabled so that's all I need so if you have the link server from the source to the target we can easily achieve copying a particular job uh, or a particular set of jobs so first of all we start by copying inserting the record into sysjob tab uh, sys tables of this 
instance so we have this four path naming system for the link server and then we insert this data from the sys uh, jobs table for the particular job so what what we are doing is we are generating a new id which is a unique identifier and then we are inserting this this record into the target so so basically if you see this is a unique identifier so there is no identity as such and then there are some foreign key references so that's all we got here so then we move on then we try to insert sys schedules so in this uh, sys schedules jo uh, table what we try to do is we insert again we try to insert a new unique id and then uh, the date created and, and date modified so now what we are trying to do is we are joining the sys schedule tables with the job schedule on the schedule id and then we are joining the job on, on, on the job id and job name so this is the basic query based upon which uh, we are trying to insert the data into into our sys schedule jobs so let me tell you in this sys schedule what we have here is there is a schedule id which is a int and it is a identity uh, identity type so that is you know uh, the primary key uh, cluster index so what we do here is we note down or we capture that value uh, into this variable that we have declared and, and then we have the sys job schedules uh, table so here if you see in this table we have these uh, records uh, sorry these columns that need to be inserted so while inserting this what we do here is we we capture we um, pass that value of sys id schedule id and then we have the job id so job id we need to capture from from the target server so we are capturing that and then we pass the value from our source server so this is the complete query for for uh, inserting the record uh, and next we have job steps so job step is, is pretty simple we are inserting that job step with the job id name from the source from the target and then we are trying to insert that from our source server so this is again this is a, uh, a, a unique identifier so we are generating that on the fly and then we are inserting that job step in in this uh, table last but not the least we have the thesis job servers so for that the initial value of before any run is is, is uh, the server id stands zero if it's a local server uh, otherwise we can join it and get the server id the job run id can be can be can be retrieved from the target server itself and then these values stand as they are so that's all that we are trying to do so this is the code now what we do here is let's run the stored procedure on our msdb database of the source server that's all we do i have run that okay so now currently i do not have any parent to uh, package on my target so what we do here is let's try to run this let's try to run this this is again on the source server so those are the inserts that has happened on the target so now let's try to see if we get a job yes we got the parent to job we got the parent to job from the source to the target and then now let's try to see check out the properties so these are the steps the step has been created it is running the SSIS package uh, the schedule let's try to see the schedule is again the same and the there were there were no alerts and notifications the target again stands checked for lo uh, target local server perfect so now let's try to run this job and see if it is working perfectly fine and still it is i mean is it able to run the ssis package for us or not perfect so this job has been copied and is still and is uh, get ready to ready to run so uh, that's a perfect way of you know just copying understanding the schema of msdb database uh, base tables and copying your jobs uh, effectively when you have a scenario of a list of jobs which you 
don't want to copy but you want the, uh, the list that needs to be copied uh, be generated dynamically which means I I would what I would do is I would call the stored procedure from a list uh, and pass the names in uh, maybe within a while loop so and I can call uh, I can get the list of the of the jobs again uh, you know from the table so that's that's an effective way uh, I hope it's it's uh, helpful to you and if you need the source code if you, if you need to dig out and, and understand the source code uh, do write to me uh, or email me thank you so much